Greetings, honor guests, and welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. Alright, what's up, Uncle? Let's see what you have to say. You should go straight to bed tonight. A spring cold can be tough. Alright, let's do it. You feel sluggish. You should rest early today. Yes, let's rest. Oh. Oh no. Huh. Not even a couple of seconds in, and this has happened. Morbid. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. All right. Take care. Dojima left the house. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Nanako looks worried. You hear the girls gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? I'll be honest, though. Um, when it comes to Alice in America, I mean, they, they actually have a pretty small team. It's actually smaller than Bethesda. That's why most of their voice actors sound the same. Because that girl right there who's talking, I think that's the same voice actress as Chie. You can hear it. You hear sirens nearby. It seems like there's been an accident. Or an incident, I mean. <laughs> you decide to head to school. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. You hear people gossiping about something. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. First, the principal has something to say. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third-year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of Class 3, has passed away. Passed away? <sighs> Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you, as students of this school, to provide only the facts. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say. Not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? <sighs> the principal's address continues. Well, that's rough for Yosuke, because he really liked the girl. She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her non-stop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. 
That's what it's like, though. I mean, most people like to make theories about that all the time, about stuff that's happened like this. Most people who are not, you know, emotionally involved in it talk about whatever they want as long as it doesn't directly involve them. That's how shallow people are, sadly. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. And then, she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but... Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died, too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on. Are you saying people who appear on that TV die? I can't say for sure. But something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you think? You might be right. It's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah, I'm thinking about going in again. D don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're gonna believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just, I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry. But you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Yosuke has asked you to take him into the TV world again. I can kinda understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? Go with Yosuke. I'm after all. We... he needs some closure, Chie. We can't just ignore this. And, well, there's still over a hundred hours still left in this game, so... I think we should do this. You serious? Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. You're right, let's do this. Would you like to save your progress thus, thus far? Please. Always remember the guys to save like this regularly. Because, you know, your file might get corrupted at some point. And don't say it won't happen, because it can happen. It's happened plenty of times when I played a video game. You guys came. We came to stop you, idiot! Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? Uh, well, not really, but I'm worried about Chie. There's no telling what may happen over there. 
Your voice with Katsuro with Chie com coming along. Your understanding is increased. Yeah, it'll be just you and me. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here, this is for you. Obtained golf club. Obtained three medicine. I thought it might be better than going in empty handed. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. Here we go. Ooh, trippy. That really is a really trippy thing. It's not not probably not as trippy as the one from Persona 5, but still pretty close. Ooh. See? I knew this wasn't gonna work. I wonder what the time dilation is like in this, like is are we gonna be gone for a couple of minutes? Or are we gonna be gone for way longer? Like, is there like a time frame from the TV world to the real world, or is it just you know they say the same time time slot? Now what? Uh, have faith, GA. Have faith. We'll be back. Is this? Look, this is the same place as last time, so they are connected from place to place. You guys, why'd you come back? I get it. You're the ones behind this. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. Don't label us like that. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? That must be it. Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here intending to kill them? If that's the case, what are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door! You can't get out once you're in! Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See? This time we have a life. Li what? Bad rope holder. Hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. <laughs> I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. It doesn't work that way. See? So it is you guys. For the last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Ah, 
I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it! If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here, shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back! It's dangerous when that happens! Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now! I told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? Uh, I'm just saying... You might be the culprits. Uh, I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Always been like this? Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. We don't know what these shadow things are, or what you are either for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face! Oh! Whoa! Who? Oh, that, that's gonna haunt me in my nightmares. Seriously, if you saw that for the first time, I'm pretty sure you'd be screaming your head off. That's terrifying. What the hell are you? It's empty inside. Like a Russian nesting doll. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. <sighs> okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me, or else I'm not going to let you guys out of here. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then, and then... Uh... <laughs> oh God, a crying bear. Don't do that. What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. The mysterious bear is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Someone on the outside world is throwing people into this world. If the culprit isn't you, he wants you to find the real culprit. The mysterious bear seems serious about this. Hey, what should we do? You remember the words of your mysterious old, the mysterious old man who called himself Igor. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Could this be the mis mystery that will be thrusted upon you? What was this contract e Igor spoke of? F could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of this promise? In other any case, since you can't leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? I promise. Thank you! Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. You Narukami. You got a name? Teddy. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki Senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. What are these glasses for? 
Ah, yes. The drip. As, as you put on the glasses, your vision instantly becomes much clearer. Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. You've also got no organs. I'm pretty sure you don't have a brain either. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. Wow, really? Thanks. How's that sound? Can Teddy really not fight? Hmm. Try pushing Teddy. Hmm? No! Oh god, he's like a turtle on his back. Is this thing for real? Uh, this is so lame. We swore to find the culprit and this is all the backup we get? Mm. Oh yeah, can I ask you something? Who's this Saki senpai person? Someone you know? <sighs> that doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Oh yeah, we need to help him up, don't we? <laughs> what is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. Of course not. I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know. I get in your way. Right. <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. <sighs> As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district... We're not far from Saki Senpais. I knew it! This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second! They're here! What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack. Huh? Oh, no, that was awesome to watch. No, I had to see it. Stay calm and 
listen. Some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works. When you use an attack the opponent is weak against, it will be knocked down. Compared to other attacks, attacking the enemy's weakness does more damage. And if you knock all enemies down, you'll get a one, one more attack. Use your opponent's weaknesses, use your weapons and skills to strike opponent's weaknesses to get one more attack to get the advantage in the battle. However, if the enemy attacks attack your weakness, they get an extra attack too. So, so always keep your enemy's weaknesses and your own in mind. Here we go. Zeo. Let's hit this one first. Oh yeah. Izanagi has always been my favorite persona. What attacks have what effects on enemies? You can check known known information about the enemies with the analysis command or by pressing an, the analyze button. All right. Again, hit him. Ho ho. Now, let's let's take out the one that we took out first. Hit him. Ooh, we only did two damage though, so eat this. Hold on, just realized something. I don't remember ever having this, the, you know, the increased defense skill this early on. I thought you got that later in the game. Weird. Oh, that did it. Okay, got two soul drops and 30 experience. You feel a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Oh yeah, your HP and SP have increased. You are now able to create personas up to level 2. What sucks though is Izanagi has the highest level up curve of any other persona when you get him. Yunorikami has faced his other self, has obtained the facade used to overcome his life's hardships. Oh, hold on, gotta get, wait for that to you know, disappear. Life's hardships. The persona is a nuggy. Whoa! What was that? Did I hear you say persona? I mean, what did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? Maybe. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. S sensei? Gosh Almighty! You're amazing, Sensei. I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? That's right. And that's what I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him sensei and then don't show me any respect? Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Sounds good, Yosuke. Here we go. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Voices begin to echo from somewhere. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Here we go. Damn it, not again. 
You begin to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Or is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I, I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos. Hey, is this... It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? The scraps of photos show Sa Saki Kanishi smiling. Yosuke is sitting next to her. I never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hanachan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. P pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo-hoo! Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> huh? Two Yosuke's? Who are you? I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness too. You're sick of everything. Especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? Th that's not true. I... You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more the merrier, right? You gotta be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. Then what's this about checking out this world for Saki Senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because. I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? A world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? That's not true. Stop. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero. And that senpai you were so sweet on? Her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that! I don't know you! You can't be me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> That's right! Say it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! Hm. Yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see?
I'll be honest, this is a stupid looking boss. I'll crush everything that bores me. Starting with you. Get out of my sight. Hmm. Shall Yosuke is laughing maniacally. Can you survive this? I want to find out. This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful. Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. During battle, you can choose to defend yourself rather than attack the enemy. Select guard from the from the battle menu to decrease the damage you receive. While defending attacks to your weakness and status ailment attacks can be blocked. If it looks like your enemy is about to let loose with a devastating attack or is about to hit your weakness, be sure to guard. But be careful, for you will leave... The defensive stance after being hit once. All right, you giant frog. Tight time for you to get shocked. And hit. That's not gonna work. Ooh. Okay. And again. Come on. Damn it. Don't underestimate me. Hmm. It's guarding its weak point. Yeah. But your beans will have to hit it. You know what? Let's guard ourselves. I feel like it's gonna go for one its ominous wind attack. Uh, that's it. Boring. Get out of my I was right. Nice try, big guy. My turn. Power charge. That's not good. He just doubled his, his attack. So let's defend. Alright, just be safe. Let's drop a medicine. Alright. Yeah, I know. You're getting to be a real pain. All right, I'm gonna crush you with everything I got. Out of the way. Kind of weird that that's the only time you see that attack. That's only like Yosuke's unique signature move. You know what? Let's try see what if I hit him with cleave. See how much damage this does. I think that's quite a bit of damage. Eat this. And cleave again. Boom. Down he goes. I got 3,000 yen and 100 experience. Congratulations, Sensei. And I'm level 3. You can now create personas up to level 3. Something inside you has changed. Izanagi has it leveled has leveled up. Mana increased by two, agility increased by one, and that's it. I'll be honest, Izanagi is a pretty balanced persona though. I I Yosuke, are you okay? Yeah. What happened? Hmm. Not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. Everyone is the same on the inside. Is that supposed to be comforting? Damn it. It hurts to face yourself. It does, but that's what this music is. I'll face myself. This is when you finally accept who you are, Yosuke. That's what this song is, I'll face myself is. It's three stages. And that's why you should listen to the song, it's beautiful. I knew it wasn't lying. 
I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me, and I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. The strength of heart required to face oneself has been manifested. Jiraiya. Yosuke has faced his other self. He's obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona, Jiraiya. This is my persona. heard Senpai's voice. I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and a big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Yeah, let's. Hey, Teddy, you said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. Hmm, it was the same for, it was the same for them. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer. We were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? That seems to be the case. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah, I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys 
come back here? Of course. We made a promise. You'll keep your word? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. Hmm, from the same place. You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Ominous. Got it? Well, pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! Hey, stop squeezing, you little... Ugh! No. Oh, there we go. off and talk to it tomorrow. I, I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. I think I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Well, see you in the morning. Near the floodplains while walking home from Juness. Oh, Yukiko. Mm -hmm. That was a beautiful kimono, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um, are you getting used to your new town and school? I like it here. Really? But it must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... <laughs> you really are socially awkward, aren't you, Yukiko? We're getting along. Oop. I see. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too, and I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. Oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Um, I'll see you at school, then. <laughs> yeah. See ya, Yukiko. Dad's late. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption 
that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. I'll be here with you. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Nanako seems to be very reliable for her age. Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Yukiko is on the TV wearing a kimono. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Huh? No, um... The reporter's rumbling goes further and further off subject. This is boring. Oh, I need to do the dishes. Here, let me help. You decide to help out with the di ho housework. You can now check your status by pressing the command menu button. You may now create quick save data from command menu. To continue playing from quick save, select continue from the title screen. The layout and progress of the current floor will be reset. You will only start at the beginning of the floor. Well guys, I'm going to end the video here. But like us all, like, comment and subscribe. Jeff, and I'm out of here. See ya.